We've been talking about why boats float. So we decided to do some investigating. We're going to see if we can make this piece of steel float. First, now we tried it while it was flat. And... It sank a little slower than we expected, but it did indeed sink. So we knew we needed to give it a shape. I wanted to shape it into an open top cube, but Alex suggested we try to make it into a kayak shape. So we gave it a shot. We traced out the bottom and made some cuts to make the sides easier to bend. We used gloves so the sharp metal didn't cut our hands. When we had it shaped, we knew the sides would leak, but we wanted to test it anyway, just to see what would happen. It leaked fast and sunk uh -oh. quickly. <laughs> but I noticed something else. It tipped over right away. Alex pointed out we needed to make it stay upright and we suspected its center of gravity was too high. We didn't want to trim off weight, so we decided to lower the center of gravity by bending the side walls down. Having a lower center of gravity should make it more stable. But of course, we had to figure out a way to keep the water out. Duct tape! So, we taped up all the seams. The duct tape did add some weight to the boat, but we decided it was negligible, so we weren't going to worry about it. With the sides sealed from leaking and a lower center of gravity, it was time to try it again. We sealed down the tape a little better in a couple of spots and gave it another try. It sure does. Its shape has a bigger volume than before. Bigger volume means it takes up more space. That's right, but its weight is essentially the same. The ratio of weight over volume is an object's density. Side note, technically density is mass over volume. But for simplicity in this video, we will just say weight. We lowered the object's density by giving it a shape. The new shape is made up of the metal and the air inside, as long as water doesn't leak in and push the air out. If the object is denser than water, that is, if it weighs more than the same volume of water, it sinks. If the object is less dense than water, meaning it weighs less than the same volume of water, then it floats. The flat metal shape was denser than the water, so it sank. The leaky ship sank because the air in the object was pushed out by the water, leaving only the metal and it was still denser than the water, so it sank too. But the sealed up boat kept the water out, and the object's volume was made up of steel and air, and the resulting density was less than water, so it floated. That's why big steel ships can float. The heavier the ship is, the lower it sits in the water. How much water it pushes out of the way is called displacement. The weight of the water it displaces is equal to the weight of the boat. The boat with the tape on it weighed 591 grams. So if we pour 591 grams of water into the boat, it should show us the water line of where the boat would sit in the water. Let's compare that to the water line when the boat is floating. I'd call this comparison of water lines a pretty good match. 
We had a lot of fun making our own steel boat, but we wanted to show you an easier way to do this investigation on your own. Want to try an easier way to do this? You'll need pieces of tin foil the same size. The first one, we're gonna make it to a ball. The second one, I'm going to shape into a boat. Do that. Okay. This one we're going to fold in half as many times as we can. Before we test each shape, let's use what we learned about density to make some predictions. Density is weight over volume. Since all three objects were made out of the same size piece of foil, they all weigh the same. In this case, two grams. The volume of the boat shape is the biggest. The volume of the folded piece is the smallest. And the volume of the ball is somewhere in the middle. That means the densities of the objects from lowest density to highest density is boat, ball, folded piece. Which ones do you think will float and which ones do you think will sink? Let's go find out. Let's try the boat first. Try the ball. The ball floats too, but it does sit a little lower in the water. And finally, the folded up piece. Huh, where'd it go? Oh, yeah, it sunk. The lowest density object, the boat floated. The highest density object, the folded piece, sank. And the ball that had a density somewhere in between, while it did float, it set lower in the water. We went back to the kayak we built and did one more investigation. How would it hold up in a storm? Turns out it handled the waves pretty well. But once water got on the inside, it got heavier. Since its volume was constant, but its weight was going up, its density was going up too. Once the object became denser than the water, it sank. It turns out, not only could we make steel float, we could sink it too. All by manipulating its shape and contents to change its density. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Soon, we'll be taking you on a tour of how real boats get built. See you on our next adventure. Okay. Let's try the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Okay. <laughs>